Hi, we are collaborative pianist. I'm Kim Lee. I'm Jolanda. Welcome to our channel. Today we're doing a true or false challenge. So Jolanda and I each have some statements about ourselves. Some of them are true, some of them are not. The challenge is we're gonna guess those statements whether they're true or not, based on our understanding. Understanding based on what we know about, <laughs> about each other. other. We think it's also a good way for you to know more about us. Okay, we're gonna start with my statements. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. The so first one is something music related. I've been studied at conservatory affiliated school since I was in grade five. True or false? What do you think? Were you in China? Grade five is it like when you were ten or nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then false. False. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I actually didn't start in music school and didn't start till I was 15. I was just taking music lessons on the side. Oh wow, that's amazing. Most uh, performance students start when they are very, very young. Yeah, because they are conservatory affiliated school. For example, like elementary school that attached to a conservatory where kids could take music lessons with a professor at the conservatory while they're taking regular curriculum at the uh, school, at the school yeah. high school, elementary school, middle school. But I didn't do music like legitimately until I was 15. Which is pretty amazing because she's a very good pianist. Okay, next one. Piano is the only instrument that I've learned to play. True? No. <laughs> False. <laughs> I've taken violin lessons actually. Oh really? For a couple of years, I could do first position really well. <laughs> Fun fact, I have played a violin piece as an encore at one of my concerts. Really? Yeah, I actually had over a thousand audience at that concert that was in China. Wait, what did you play? <laughs> I played a really like easy, simple Chinese folk song. Yeah? Because I was playing something with a violinist and then, and then at you the decided end, to yeah. start jamming. <laughs> I didn't know how that happened, but that actually happened. I played violin for over a thousand of an audience. <laughs> okay, so that's not true. I have studied other instruments. Okay. Okay, next one. My parents are non musicians. True. Yeah, you got it right. Like, did you have a tiger mom? I can't tell because she's gonna watch this right now. <laughs> I think that all parents want the best for you. They will give you their suggestions based on their experience. I'm really thankful that my parents are like really supportive and they love music and then um, yeah. Okay, this one. English is my second language. Uh, true. Well, I know you speak several languages. So. I could give you half of the point <laughs> for this Because I know you speak German too. Yeah. I learned English when I was eight or seven, but I didn't get a good fluency in it. I went to Germany when I was 15. That's when I started music at a music school. So I first got fluency in German and then in English. Mm -hmm. And for language, I want to say for the longest time, I thought having an accent is a very embarrassing thing. But the more I talk to people and knowing people from all different places, I think having an accent is a really cool thing because that really shows your identity. That is true. Yeah. As long as you communicate with a clear message. Of course, when you're singing, you're trying to do your best for diction and pronunciation, enunciation. Even native speakers, they pick up some habits while learning the English. So that might also get in the way of singing. So if English is not your first language, don't worry about it. Your coach is gonna help you along the way. But learning a language is definitely a good thing. It's oh yeah. Learn languages. Any. Okay, next one. The song that I most recently listened to was a rock song. False. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, which one? Which one? <laughs> there is a Chinese TV show. They gathered a bunch of Chinese rock bands, or like just oh. bands in general. Bands are mostly underground. This show just gathers them. They present their original songs and also if challenged to rearrange other songs. You know like band, they all have their like really strong personalities, right? Yes. But yes. this TV show does a really good job to mix them together. They have to collaborate with each other. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> you know like 
because not every band is rock band. Some of them are more like experimental music and some of them are world music, like more mm -hmm. traditional. Mm -hmm. They are all able to communicate with each other through music and yeah, then create something new. Oh, you know what? We should do a reaction video if you listen to um, Chinese rock or like oh, Chinese band. Yeah. I mean, I just love rock music. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, this one. I think I'll make it the last one of mine. Okay. I can't whistle. Cannot or you can't? I cannot. You cannot. True. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> There's something to do with the actual structure of the tongue. I also have the problem that I cannot roll my R. Yeah. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> I recently learned myself how to do it. Like, I could do like... A... Oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> can you whistle? No. <laughs> <laughs> no voice at all. <laughs> okay. yeah. But if you really want to whistle, you could learn to do it because like I couldn't run my R, but now I could. That is true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's just training of your body, right? You have to train your body to do things in a way that they've never done it before. Yeah. But it's really important to, to know how to roll your R because especially in Italian, rolling the R and not rolling the R could result in a different meaning of the word. For example, like caro oh, yeah, of course. Caro. and caro. caro, caro <laughs> I couldn't do that literally happy. No! That one is I know, I'm kidding. That one's actually flipped. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm done. How many did you get it? I thought we should keep the score. Unless you won. Okay. Your turn. Jelena's turn.